What are we doing today, Lee? Uh, morning, everybody. We are going to install this, which is an upper engine mount bushing to fill the void, keep everything a little bit more stable. five minutes if nothing goes wrong in theory <laughs> in theory uh we do have special guests in the garage today gareth will introduce you to her and then we'll get to this it's not wilma is it <laughs> no wilma is probably out working unlike some of us so the torque spec on this is 75 foot pounds so in theory it shouldn't be too hard to undo okay that felt like more than 75 foot pounds but I think we'll be able to undo it. Uh, we need one of these, one of these, and the thing with the thing. Oh, this is why we're supposed to have two people here doing this. Now, when I take the nut off the engine mount, the engine's going to there we go become lower in the car. <laughs> So we now have two jacks under the car. One of them is under the oil pan just to support the weight of the engine, just to stop it dropping off as we remove this bolt. So good idea to get everything ready before you take the bolt off. They sent grease. It's always good to have a little lubrication. I'd be careful how to phrase that. <clears throat> so we are lubrified. Put a little inside there because I think that goes in there. Okay. So, and then the order is once that bolt comes off, washer, then bushing, then collar, then bolt. I think. It's not threaded anymore. So, washer, washer, and then duber correct way. Now it's supposed to be level with what part level? Hmm. It's kind of off center. I'll just put that down there. Have it working. Lee does have a house guest in the form of a red back spider. We call her Jane. Garage. She protects the car. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. So if you install it the right way round, Lee. Yeah, it doesn't go that way. That, that's down. Not I up. don't know who would have thought. Put it I in don't know. Way. So yeah, if, you, if it goes in this way, look, it sits flush. It's nice and centered. And then, the collar can go and then the collar can go in. And then that sits flush. And then nut. So we'll tighten this to 75 foot pounds. Probably not with our hands because I don't have a torque spec. Uh, torque wrench coming up. Make sure torque wrench is set correctly. Which bit to change because you never even you just leave it at 100 for the wheels. Oh, it oh, oh, that's the wrong, wrong way. way. Oh, we're upside down. Uh, Two hours later. Yeah. And then we need this guy. With that thing. Or am I on glue? Here we go. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Oh, that's there we go. fine. Click. Install. Easy upgrade, guy. Five minutes if you don't drop it down there. Uh, 75 foot pounds. And then we'll go for a drive. Test drive. Upper <laughs> engine mount in. Let's see what it yes. feels like. Can we feel the difference? Probably not. not. But we're just really checking for weird noises. Because the last time we put a mount in. Wait, made... there'll be another video on where you'll yes. see that other mount that looks like something in it. Yes. We'll have to show you the mod the modifications. Mm. Uh, it 
does feel a little bit, I mean, probably placebo effect. Possibly. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow on the track if it responds a little bit better, especially with the gear changes. There's no weird noises, so that's always a win. Shall we have a wee chat about NVH? Noise, vibration, and harshness. Oh, is that what the H is? Yes. I didn't know. So manufacturers deliberately make your car a little bit soft, so there's less vibration or noise vibration and hardness in the car. Yes. Uh, if you go from a road car to a race car, everything's solid mounted. Um, so you kind of have to strike a balance between what you want from your car when you're modifying a car. So you can go silicon bushings, you can go polyurethane bushings, or you can go nylon bushings, yep. all on the way towards more NVH or higher NVH values. Coming away from being a comfortable road car that you can drive every day. Yeah, there's a balance, right? I mean, uh, Powerflex sells two versions of all their mounts. One's purple, one's black. The black one is about 30% stiffer, so everything in this car is purple. The lower engine mount, now the upper engine mount, and then we're going to do a transmission mount as well. Uh, and I think it's totally livable. I don't notice any extra noise, vibration, hard, 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 what? Uh, harshness. That one. Um, the only time you'll ever really notice it, the only time I notice it in this car, in park with the parking brake on, there's a tiny bit more, but how often are you in park with the parking brake on with the car running? Not very often. So, I don't think it's a big deal at all. We're calling that success? Nothing's blown up, the engine's still in the car, there's no weird noises, so. Let's do another one. Yes.